Welcome. My name is Skylar Church. I am a California real estate broker as well as a member of the education department at accredited real estate schools. A private school approved through the DRE to provide the courses as well as exam prep for California real estate license applicants, a salesperson and broker. So today's video, we're gonna discuss steps to become a broker. So one of the license types, remember in California, is a real estate broker. Um, most everybody though, getting their license will become a salesperson first. And then once they have two years full-time real estate experience within the preceding five years, or a four-year degree with a major or minor in real estate, they can then upgrade or get their broker's license. And um, all salespersons have to work under a real estate broker. So that's why some people like to become a broker, so that way they can just work for themselves without having to put their license under someone else. So let's go through the steps to become a broker. So you first have to fulfill the requirements, and we'll go through that because there's the education, experience, age, um, as well as honesty, and then residence requirements. And then once you fulfill those, though, you can, you'll can you submit the application to the state. It has to be a physical application, either by mail or faxed. It does take a few weeks for approval, though. That just depends on current processing timeframes. Um, it can be anywhere from two to three weeks if you're lucky, all the way to 10 to 12 weeks. Just depends. And then once the DRE though does have everything in hand from you and they um, can verify and they'll approve it basically, um, if they don't have everything in hand, they will send you a letter um, stating what they need from you and the, your application will be still pending. But if you do get an approval, the DRE will notify you. And at that point, you can schedule the state test. The state exam will be at one of their five locations in California. And when you do take it, um, you'll get your results that day. And if you pass it, you'll then be able to receive your license. So we're gonna go through this a little bit more specific into the specifics, but just know I have a ton of other videos regarding um, elements, for instance, regarding actually applying, the what the day of the state exam consists of, what the state exam is constructed and based off of content outline that the state um, stipulates as well as different packages that accredited has to fulfill these requirements. So lots of options for you. Um, so make sure to use them as a resource and let's kind of dive in into the specifics of this. So the requirements, you have to be at least 18 years old to get your um, any type of real estate license in California, salesperson or broker. You can apply at 17 um, and, and actually take the state exam, but you can't actually receive the license until you're 18. Most brokers though will be a lot older than 18 because remember they have to fill that experience, fulfill the experience requirement. Residency, you technically do not need to be a resident of California, but if you are an out-of-state applicant, there are additional forms that you need to fill out. So make sure to consult with the Department of Real Estate on that, as well as honesty. So if you've been convicted of a crime, you have to disclose it and any pending can um, also um, criminal, uh, anything that's pending, for instance, for charges. They, you have to be disclosed. If you do not disclose it, as well as depending on the type of conviction you might have, then your license could be denied. I have a video going over this because there is a lot of gray area to it. Um, so if you have more questions regarding this, I do recommend checking out the potential causes for license denial. Now experience, this is one of the biggest um, require one of the biggest elements of the requirements that is different from a salesperson to a broker. It's because you have to have at least two years of full-time real estate experience within the last five years. So if you're going for your broker's license, most everybody is a salesperson. Or let's say you are a loan officer. You've been in lending. Um, you have at least within the five, the preceding five years from when you're submitting your application, you have what equates to at least two years of full time, which is 40 hours a week of real estate experience that is verifiable. So either it'll be licensed experience or um, equivalent experience that you'll need to then prove to the department and they have forms on the DRE's website about it. And um, on the application process, the video um, of that, I go into the specifics. Or if you don't have experience, you can have a four-year degree, but it needs to be with a major or minor in real estate. It cannot be general business, has to be in real estate. Um, that is a 
We're, this was a change in January 1st of 2013. You could have any college degree, four-year degree before that and go for your broker's license. They realized that, that a lot of people were getting their broker's licenses without having actual experience in real estate. So now you have to have experience in it or a sufficient amount of education specifically to real estate. And that's where they want the major or minor from a four-year degree in real estate. But even besides this, if you even have the experience or the degree, you still have to fulfill the education requirements, which are eight statutory courses, which is just a fancy word for pre-licensing courses. So you have to have California real estate practice, legal aspects of real estate, so real estate law, real estate finance, real, so it's not general finance, it has to be real estate finance, real estate appraisal, and real estate economics. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be real estate economics. It could be macro or microeconomics, as well as an introductory to economics, like a general economics course. Um, a general accounting course will also fulfill this. Um, but just know when we're talking about the finance one, the finance that we have right here, it has to be real estate finance. And then, so those are just five mandated courses. Then you need three electives. So it can be California real estate principles, property management, escrow, um, it could even be business law, or mortgage loan brokering and lending. There are some other courses that the department does allow. These are just the popular ones, and these are the ones that the um, that accredited offers. And I do want to let you know, though, if you are a salesperson going for your brokers, the courses that you did complete when you get obtaining your salesperson license will count towards the brokers. So, for instance, if you received your license um, uh, relatively, let's say, within the last 20 years, the what exact courses you've done can vary. But most likely you've done real estate principles and then two other courses. Now we have to make sure which ones you've done so that way we can fulfill the remaining course requirements. So usually you'll just need five additional courses. If you got your license though prior to the 2000s, you may, um, prior to the early 90s anyways, you may have only done principles because there was a conditional licensing requirement until 2007 where you needed principles but then an additional two courses. And then after 2007 though, three courses were mandated up front. So Call accredited or the Department of Real Estate and we can walk you through it. Um, but just know you need to fulfill these eight courses. And then once you fulfill them, you submit that application to the DRE. So you're gonna fill out the appropriate DRE application, and make sure it's done completely and correctly. And you're gonna send that to the DRE with all of your applicable fees and documentation. So for instance, your certificate of the courses, your, maybe your official transcripts, your experience documentation, as well as maybe even the live scan fingerprinting if you're doing the combination application. So that's why it's important to make sure to follow all the instructions. And regarding this specific step in the process, I highly recommend checking out my how to apply video because that goes through it um, extremely well and thoroughly regarding the actual application um, and the different types of ways to, um, to fill the application because they have um, an exam only application as well as combination applications. So it just kind of goes through that process. Um, and then just know the processing timeframes are usually anywhere, if you're lucky, two weeks all the way up to eight, sometimes even 12 weeks. Just depends on um, what the demand is as well as what how many people or how many people are employed by the department to process the applications. So important to know about that. But once it's um, to the DRE, they will approve the application. Now, on the application that you fill out, send to them anyways, there's a question on there that says, are you wanting to self-schedule once you're approved? You'll hit yes if you're wanting to use e-licensing to schedule the exam yourself. Otherwise, the DRE will assign you a date, and that's what area 15, 16, and 17 on the application are about. I highly, highly recommend to self-schedule, so to select yes on item 14, and they won't notify you by mail anymore regarding this once you're approved. They usually actually email you. And however, if the department though still needs additional information from you or if there's an issue with your application, they will send you a response by mail. So that's why it's important to check your email and your mailbox. Um, so that way you can either schedule your exam or if need to respond to the department with any additional information they may need. Um, and this is then, once you're approved, you can schedule the state test, um, and you'll take their, the state exam at one of their select locations. They have five in California. It has to be at one of these five locations. So if you're an out-of-state applicant, you need to come to California for it. 
They have locations in Sacramento, Oakland, Fresno, Los Angeles, and San Diego. And it's an electronic format that's at their location. So it's on the computer, but a heavily regulated computer at their location. For brokers, it's a 200 and multiple choice questions, and you have four hours to complete it. So it's one sitting of four hours for 200 multiple choice questions. The biggest thing to know though about the state tests that we have in California is they are weighted. So for brokers, you need 75% to pass, but it's not just a straight across the board 75%. It's a weighted 75%. So this means the questions are weighted differently and the areas that the state actually pull from for the concepts, those are weighted. So the, the department's never released exactly how they construct it based on the weighting, but the questions and also how the areas are, are weighted. And that's why this pass rate statewide is fairly low. It is a challenging and tricky exam, but it's completely doable as long as you put the time into studying. But even though you're putting the time into studying, making sure you have the right material. So California specific material and that the company you're going through has result has produced results and they're good because there's a lot of companies out there that kind of try to say California specific and they're really not. They're just kind of national specific, national questions and then try to make basically extrapolate it to a bunch of different states. So making make sure you have the right material. It's really important to know about. And if you're wanting specifics regarding the actual state exam for brokers, um, make sure to check out that video we have of the broker state exam. And then let's say you've taken the state test and you submit it, you hit the submit button, you get your results that day and you passed it. Well, if you've passed the state exam, you will receive your California real estate, not salesperson license, broker license. That was my bad here. <laughs> broker license. And you'll now be licensed. But there's a caveat to this. It's if you submitted the combination application when you were originally applying to the state, that's where you pay for the exam and the license up. Front. That way, when you do pass the state exam, you get your license that day. However, if you only paid for the exam up front, at this point, you have to submit for the license portion of it. So a license application, wait for approval from the DRE, and then once approved, you'll then be licensed as a broker. Um, and you'll have to then, you know, of course, with the broker thing um, of it is showing your main place of business to be able to be in an active status. Um, so if you have questions regarding the combination versus exam only applications and what this means, make sure to check out that how to apply video, extremely important. Um, so make sure to look at that. But once you've received that license, you're pretty much good to go. Make sure to check though with your other um, requirements that the DRA may have if you're wanting to be incorporated, if you're having a branch, if you're a broker associate, for instance. So make sure to look into that, but just know I am not part of the Department of Real Estate. I'm not affiliated with the DRE. So we do not cover all stipulations. This is just for general purpose. Make sure to contact the DRE for up-to-date and accurate information. Here's the Department of Real Estate's information, their website, and their phone number. But if you have other questions, please feel free to contact us at Accredited, and we'll be glad to assist you with anything we can. We do know a lot. We've been in the business for 20 over 25 years. so. We wanna help you out, um, but just know we're not part of the DRE. We are approved through the DRE as a school to offer the courses, but we're not the ones that are actually issuing the licenses as well as the state exams. So thank you for watching, and this is Accredited's information if you have any questions. I hope to see you licensed as a real estate broker soon.